Okay, what we're going to look at today is the uh, nucleophilic substitution of ammonia onto a halogenoalkane. Uh, so what we're going to start with is a halogenoalkane like this, uh, which is chloroethane. Uh, and all that's going to happen is we're going to identify any polar bonds. So here we've got a positive or a delta positive carbon and a delta negative chlorine. And that gives us the kind of basis for where the mechanism is going to be taking place. Uh, so in this example, we're using ammonia. So we've got NH3, and this can act as a good nucleophile because it's got a lone pair on the nitrogen. Okay, that lone pair is wanting to attack an electron deficient area such as this positive carbon here. So we've got a clear uh, double headed arrow from the lone pair to the carbon. And then because this has now got too many electrons, the two electrons that are already near this chlorine are going to jump from the bond onto the chlorine itself, uh, resulting in two products that look something a bit like this. Now, what we've ended up with is this nitrogen swapping for this chlorine. Uh, but this nitrogen has still got three hydrogens, and because it's, not, it's got a dative bond, the nitrogen has ended up with a positive charge. It's one electron short from what it should be. Uh, so the something has got to resolve to get this uh, to kind of a normal state. We've also got our Cl- released from here. Now the way that this resolves itself is a second ammonia comes along, this time acting as a base. Now a base is something that wants to take a hydrogen or a hydrogen ion. Okay, so this attacks the hydrogen, forming a new bond between that nitrogen and that hydrogen with those two electrons. Now this hydrogen doesn't need these two electrons because it's getting two from here. So these two electrons jump onto the nitrogen uh, to create this product here. Okay. Uh, we will also have uh, an additional product of NH4 which has a plus charge on it, uh, and that will react with the chlorine or the bromine, whatever halide uh, is in the reaction to form an ammonium halide. Now the reason I've drawn another one of these on here, this time in blue, is because this reaction isn't quite finished. Now because this nitrogen has still got a lone pair, it can act as a nucleophile itself. So again we've got a delta positive carbon and a delta negative chlorine, and this lone pair here is attracted to this carbon here. So that can attack there, and because this is already a polar bond, the electrons are already near here, break onto the chlorine uh, to again attach another one of these alkyl groups in place of a hydrogen. So again, another ammonia is going to come along and take away this hydrogen, uh, and that will result in this product here. Okay. Now the first one we had, uh, this one here, is a, an, a primary amine, okay, that's an NH2 with an alkyl group on it. This one is now a secondary amine, okay, where we've got one hydrogen with two alkyl groups. Okay, they're exactly the same group, and all we've done is swap one of them for one of the, one of the hydrogens on here for one of these alkyl groups. This can act again on another halogenoarchane and can result in a tertiary amine. Okay, which would look something like this. Now this reaction can go no further because we haven't got any extra hydrogens on this nitrogen to swap or substitute for these alkyl groups. Okay, so there's a tertiary amine, and this one would be triethylamine. 